Anaerobic respiration is a form of respiration that takes place in the cytoplasm of cells and results in the release of energy from the incomplete breakdown of ingested food materials without the involvement of gaseous oxygen. Anaerobic respiration results in the production of intermediate compounds such as lactic acid or alcohol. Certain bacteria and fungi derive all or most of their energy from anaerobic respiration and the end products are frequently alcohol and carbon dioxide. The process in this case is called fermentation. Fermentation is therefore a form of anaerobic respiration which results in the formation of alcohol as a respiratory byproduct along with carbon dioxide. However, fermentation can also refer to those processes that result in the formation of other organic compounds such as citric acid, butyric acid, oxalic acid, etc. One of the most widely demonstrated, studied, and commercially exploited fermentation processes is the alcoholic fermentation carried out by yeast cells or Saccharomyces cerevisiae. This chemical equation summarizes yeast fermentation. In this experiment, we'll demonstrate alcoholic fermentation in yeast cells. For this experiment, we'll need the following. A fermentation setup consisting of a large test tube with a tight-fitting one-hole rubber cork through which is inserted a delivery tube bent at 90 degrees in two places. One end of the delivery tube reaches a few centimeters into the large test tube, while the other end reaches to the bottom of a smaller test tube. A clamp stand, dry baker's yeast powder, glucose powder, lime water, paraffin liquid or cooking oil, boiled and cooled water, beakers, stirring rods. To begin the experiment, prepare 5% glucose solution by dissolving 5 grams of glucose powder in 100 ml of boiled and cooled water in a beaker. Also prepare a small quantity of 10% yeast suspension by adding approximately 5 grams of baker's yeast to 50 ml of boiled and cooled water in a beaker and stirring the contents. Take the glucose solution and the yeast suspension in a 5 to 1 ratio in the large test tube. So, if you're taking 50 ml of glucose solution for example, Add 10 ml of yeast suspension to it. Add enough liquid paraffin dropwise along the inner walls of the test tube so that the paraffin completely covers the surface of the glucose yeast solution mixture. This addition of oil layer is necessary to create an anaerobic environment in the test tube. Now cover the test tube with a cork containing the delivery tube, making sure that the end of the delivery tube lies way above the level of the oil surface. Now seal the cork using glycerol or grease. Secure the test tube using a clamp stand. Once the tube has been secured, introduce the other end of the delivery tube into the smaller test tube containing lime water, making sure that the end of the tube is immersed well below the level of the lime water. Allow the setup to stand for a few minutes. After some time, you'll begin to notice air bubbles coming out of the end of the delivery tube submerged in the lime water. You'll also start to notice a buildup of a frothy layer on top of the oil layer in the large test tube. After several minutes, the lime water begins to turn cloudy white, suggesting that the gas bubbles coming out from the delivery tube could potentially be carbon dioxide, one of the byproducts of fermentation. At this point, disassemble the setup First take the tube containing lime water and add 1% hydrochloric acid dropwise to the tube and shake gently. The cloudy white precipitate dissolves completely suggesting that the white precipitate is indeed calcium carbonate which is a product of the reaction between carbon dioxide and lime water which is calcium hydroxide solution. Calcium carbonate readily dissolves in a mineral acid, in this case hydrochloric acid to form its corresponding soluble salt, in this case calcium chloride solution. Now take the large test tube and smell the contents. You will find that it has a strong ethanolic smell suggesting that ethanol is also produced as one of the byproducts during the fermentation of a glucose solution by yeast cells in the suspension. This experiment therefore demonstrates alcoholic fermentation by yeast cells 
to produce carbon dioxide and ethanol as fermentation byproducts.